Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Hollywood Studios. I came here a little bit late in the afternoon because I really want to experience the park at night. I want to see the lights on the Tower of Terror and I want to see the sign for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway light up. I just want to enjoy a nighttime park. It closes at 8 o'clock, so we're going to make the best of it. Anywho's, let's go do this. And since it's still daylight out, we're gonna kill some time by going into the Hollywood and Vine and trying Minnie's Halloween Dine. I'm so excited. This just started two days ago, and it's basically an all-you-can-eat table service where the characters come out dressed in their favorite little Halloween costumes. And uh, yeah, this is gonna put me in a great spirit. It's also nice to see Halloween things in the park. And this is like the biggest Halloween thing at Hollywood Studios because mostly everything else is canceled. But wow, I'm so excited. I didn't think they were gonna do this this year, but it gives me hope maybe they'll have the Christmas one too. It used to be an all-you-can-eat buffet, but now it's actually an entree. You still get all-you-can-eat appetizers, but what it basically is is you pick one appetizer, you pick one entree, and then you pick one dessert. And uh, they're pretty big portions. I mean, we'll see what it's like, but usually, like I said, it's a buffet, but right now they can't do that. Look how cool this is. Usually, you can actually just get pictures with characters here, but due to the circumstances, you can't do that anymore. But I'm happy they still put it up, because it's really pretty to look at. And now we're at our table, and I'm with some friends. Tom does Disney, right there. And then that crazy Disney lady. I'm so excited to check this place out. While you actually sit down, you can take your mask off. But if you're going to get up and walk around, you have to have your mask on. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and show you around a little bit. And I'll keep the mask on, obviously. They have the pillars with their Halloween wraps on them. And then, like I said, the characters are actually going to be walking through the restaurant. You're not going to be able to take pictures with them, but they're going to come over to your table and say hi, and they're going to be dressed up in your Halloween favorites. This is normally where you would actually go line up and go through the buffet itself. It's also playing creepy Halloween music, which I like. Right now it's, uh, I always feel like somebody's watching me. I've been practicing at the singing. So you're going to have to scan your uh, menu right here, but take a look at the food. I know I pointed out the sign out front. You just got to order one entree. I'm definitely going with the pepper prime rib beef, and it tells you all the sides it comes with. They also have macaroni and cheese, and then they have uh, roasted turkey breasts. You know, pretty, pretty good stuff. Usually you would get all these, not all of these, like some of these items would all be on the buffet. But either way, I think it's going to be really good food and I can't wait to actually try it. Oh, they make a little announcement when the characters are about to come out and parade around the restaurant. And it's a little jingle. I like it. You see me when I start rocking my camera like this, that's because I get into the jingle. at this guy right here. That is awesome. You're the man, Goof, you're the man. Looks like we got uh, all you can eat bread and salad is now here. Ooh, fancy, fancy. The croutons are really good, they're cornbread. Cornbread croutons. Cornbread croutons, see that's because that's The only thing that is all you can eat is the bread service and the salad. I don't know. I'm not a big salad eater. Man himself. Look at that. Oh! Wow. Wow, the food is here. But wait, somebody's coming. Look at this. 
What a wonderful costume. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> oh, she's coming back. <laughs> but back to the food. Holy moly. Look at this. This actually looks delicious. I am so excited. One thing that I did ask, you can swap out your sides. So this usually comes with pearl onions and I uh, got cornbread stuffing instead. And they're gonna be bringing that out to me in a second, but I am so excited. Here's the cornbread stuffing. Also, I got the red skin mashed potatoes instead of the sour cream and chai potatoes. So I swapped out the sides that come with the turkey dinner and got the prime rib instead. So prime rib with turkey dinner sides. Goofy's back. This is really good. I really like the stuffing and the Brussels sprouts. The prime rib is amazing and it has a really good reduction to it. I don't know what that is, but I like it a lot. That literally was so delicious. It didn't stand a chance. I know I didn't show much of it because uh, I was too busy eating it. But I have to say, I kind of wish that they did the family like style offering. Uh, the one entree and the dessert, it's a good deal, but the price hasn't changed. I still think it's amazing though, absolutely delicious. Well, I have to say, the dessert hit a home run. That looks so amazing. Pretty too, like I don't even want to touch it. This banana pie is absolutely phenomenal. Much too good for children. But now it's starting to get dark outside, so we're gonna probably get out there so I can see all the lights turn on. The main reason I wanted to come here tonight, like I said, is just to experience the park at night. And since we actually just dined in here, might as well show the lights right here. Look at it, so bright. And the music, this is what I wanted. I just like it, and then you got the music. This is what I wanted. Look it, ha <laughs> ha. So I might as well come right back out to the front and just start here and make my way down Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard. It has been so long since I've actually seen everything lit up. Anytime I've actually come to Hollywood Studios recently, it's been early so I can do Rise of the Resistance and then I end up leaving. But now I finally get to see it. Now it's definitely starting to get a lot more dark and you can see like all the lights in my glasses. I feel like I'm in Hollywood. Hollywood! Gotta love Pluto's Toy Palace and then also the Keystone Jewelers. This is the good stuff. I really hope I'm not the only weird person that gets excited about lights. I mean, I know there's other people out there who appreciate the things in life like I do. I appreciate the little things like lights and balloons, especially ones that light up. Now we get to make our way down Sunset Boulevard and this is what I've been excited to actually see is the Tower of Terror all lit up with its green font. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful view, huh? Love it. It's actually lightning behind the Tower of Terror. I'm gonna try to catch some of the lightning happening because I think that's awesome. I don't know if we actually caught any of that lightning. Did you just see all that lightning happening right now? Like that almost just struck me. That was absolutely mind blowing. I literally seen the lightning all around me. I was gonna say, let's just go ride the Tower of Terror. I think it's a good idea. I feel like the Tower of Terror is calling to me right now. But it being 7.30, maybe we should get a beer and then wait until 7.59 and see if we could be the last people to ride the Tower of Terror. Sometimes they let you close the gates in on yourself. I think that would be so awesome and creepy. Let's do it. I would not recommend doing this on a very busy day, but right now 
it's actually a 13 minute wait so if you guys aren't familiar whenever it's a walk-on it's they always mark it as a 13 minute wait kind of creepy right and I don't want to jinx it just in case so we are gonna wait until the last minute I decided to just come down here and just hang out and wait for uh, the time for me to go up. But do you remember these were where you actually picked up the paper fast passes? I miss that time. I miss when you used to have to rush over to a ride to get fast passes before they were gone for the day. It was so cool. 7.53, we got seven minutes to go. This lightning is amazing. Wow. There it is, eight o'clock. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. You too. Isn't this awesome, guys? We are now officially locked in the Tower of Terror. Oh, and it's lightning like crazy. This is awesome. My adrenaline is pumping. We actually might get our own cart, our own elevator shaft. Oh, now they're shutting the doors to the actual hotel. This is great, guys. That is so cool, isn't it? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, folks. All me. For your safety, oh, oh, this is some good stuff. Please, Look at this. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the elevator at all times. And do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Thank you. Estimados huéspedes, por su seguridad, una vez a bordo, por favor, permanezcan sentados y mantengan sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del elevador en todo momento. Thank you. This is it, guys. It's just us in here. Look at nobody else. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I would not attempt to do this on a busy night, but it was a walk-on for like at least 30 minutes. You were the passengers in a motion common elevator about to ascend into your very own episode of The Twilight Zone. We're not moving. Guys, we're not moving. Holy moly. This is awesome. I don't know what to say. I'm like freaking out, but I'm so happy. <laughs> this is awesome. Guys, we're just sitting here. I need light. I need light. I can do this because. Oh. When a stormy night oh, long ago, okay. five people stepped through the door of an elevator and it went a nightmare. That door was open once you began.
<laughs> that was amazing. This was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Or you may find yourself a permanent resident. Holy moly. Of the Twilight Zone. I have been. That was so much fun. Guys, that was amazing. Let's take a look at the picture. Look at, look at this. Oh man. Look at that picture, guys. That is amazing. I gotta get out of here though. These guys are wrapping it up. They're done, done for the day. Now they're gonna close the doors down out here. And there you have it, folks. All closed. But now it is pouring, the park is closed. I just wanna talk about how amazing it was that the ride stopped and we were stuck there. I kept the camera rolling. I know it was pitch dark, but you can hear like me getting so excited. I really hope you enjoyed that because I feel amazing right now. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Well, I got my trusty hat to protect the camera. So let's just look at the Hollywood Studios completely empty as we walk out. Look at this. This is crazy, isn't it? I love it. I'm raining, but I don't care. It's just so cool. <gasps> Look. <laughs> oh, boy. I love this. <laughs>